I hope you guys are all having a great day. Easy Auto Fix here, and today we're gonna learn symptoms of a bad ABS module. Some people call it an electronic brake module, controller anti lock brake module, or an electronic brake control module. It's basically the brain of the ABS system. It processes data from the brake switch and wheel speed sensors to determine when to cycle the solenoid valves inside the hydraulic control unit for brake fluid pulsations to each wheel. This helps prevent your wheels from locking up when braking. It also reduces skidding and braking distance to give the driver a better control of the steering wheel. The location will typically be on the hydraulic control unit but can vary between cars. In some situations it could be in the passenger compartment or the trunk of the car. The first symptom of a bad ABS module is warning lights. A faulty module might turn on the ABS, engine, or brake light and in some situations, the traction control. If you want to read the codes related to a bad ABS system, you'll need an OBD2 scanner. I'll leave the one that I use linked in the description below. The second symptom is a disabled ABS system. If the module is malfunctioning, it's actually smart enough to disable it. This leads to the next symptom, the brakes locking up. Since the module disabled the ABS system, it won't be able to pulsate the brakes when braking hard resulting in your brakes locking up. The last symptom is an engine compartment fire. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration in 2022, Hyundai had a recall over 300,000 vehicles having a defective ABS module. They stated that the ABS module could have an internal short that could result in an engine compartment fire. If you have any of these vehicles, call your dealership to see if you qualify for a free replacement. Awesome. I appreciate all of you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so I can see you in the next one.